Hello, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'm here today to share with you a sneak peek out of the new 2021 annual catalog. This card is made using a brand new stamp set called Flowers of Friendship. And it's available as well as a, as a bundle. Um, with the coordinating flowers and leaves punch, um, a great builder punch that punches out the flowers and these leaves. Um, I'm using as well some new in colors, as well as a carrying over item, the stitched so sweetly dies that can be cut using our stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, I will have all of these supplies listed in on my blog, justalittleink.com, and beginning May 4th, when the new catalog launches, looks like this, um, you will begin to be able to begin to order um, all of the supplies to make this beautiful card. So what you will need is a half a sheet. I have cut it um, on the vertical um, orientation, four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, and it's scored in the middle at five and a half. I've also cut a piece four inches by five and a quarter inches, and I have already run this through the Tasteful Textile 3D embossing folder. You might be able to see the slight texture that this gives. I just really love that. Um, and then you'll need for the inside a piece four by five and a quarter of basic white. You'll also need a piece of soft succulent cardstock. This is another one of our in colors. These two, the um, evening evergreen and the soft succulent are both new in colors. Um, this is cut two and five eighths inches by four and three eighths inches. I have also another piece of basic white cut two and a half by four and a quarter. You'll need a scrap piece so that you can cut out using the stitch so sweetly die with the greeting. You'll need a piece of designer series paper. Here I am using a piece from the pansy um, oh, pansy petals, designer series paper. On the back side, you can see some of those pansies, but I really liked the stripe print. And then I'm pairing it with one more of our new in colors. This is polished pink, and that's what these flowers are cut using our punch. Um, and you need a scrap piece. I'm only going to stamp and punch one because I already have the other two done but you will need a piece that is about one and a half inches by about six inches, give or take a little, in order to space out and get these punched beautifully. I'm also adding some of our, um, the gold from the metallic pearls. They come in gold and silver. I'm using some of the gold for the centers of the flowers. And then some of our brand new um, three eighths inch, Finding my spot here. Um, soft succulents, 3 8 inch open weave ribbon. All of the new in colors have um, a coordinating print of our color um, that matches the in color. So you'll need those supplies. You also need some Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, and I'm going to be using soft succulent stamp and blend as well as on the inside areas i'm going to use the light of the polished pink stamp and blend and of course i'm using some tuxedo black ink so let's begin to begin with a simple card i've already scored it i'm going to fold it in half and i'm going to use my bone folder to get a nice crisp end And then we're going to set this piece aside and we're going to work on um, the rest. So let's get our stamping done. So we have a few pieces that I'm going to stamp on. Set this out of the way. To begin with, 
I'm going to pull out my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Maybe just set this out of the way as well. I need to stamp this image. I don't want to stamp the flowers. You'll notice that I could just stamp it and, and color in all of the images. You need to use, um, and what I found was almost the best, was I took a post-it note. And from the post-it note, I cut off just the sticky part. I don't need the rest. I'll use it just to make a note later. I need a piece big enough in that center to cover up my flower. And I almost cut it big enough. Not quite, so we'll cut just a little more. Again, we're just wanting enough to cover up these flowers. I can cut then this other piece just enough to grab here, to grab here. I don't want to cover up my leaves. Then I'm going to pull out my ink pad. I'm going to ink up. And I just need to remember not to leave these on here. So then you'll pull these off. You throw in the trash. You can get a couple inkings if you're careful and keep your fingers out of the ink. I'm going to breathe on it just to re-moisten any ink that's there. And I want to stamp it like so. So then I end up with no flowers, but I have my stems. I'm going to use the image that's thank you for everything. Make sure I get a good inking. I'm going to stamp it in the middle. That I will end up um, running through my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Remember, I line up my die, put a little piece of some scrap washi that you have. You can also use a low-tack um, piece of, um, or not scotch tape, but masking tape. Just to have something to keep it from not moving. That's something I have already done. So it'll come out looking like this. And I need to stamp a flower. So I'm going to look at how my punch orients, and I know that I need it in this direction. So I'm going to stamp like so. I only need one because, remember, I've already cut two others. So that's all I need from my Tuxedo Black ink. I also would like to stamp a little something on the inside. And so I've got this multiple flower image and I'm going to pull out some Evening Evergreen. I'm going to stamp it on the inside just along the inside edge like so. Just a little something, and I'm going to write a greeting on the inside, so I'm not going to stamp anything on the inside. So to finish my flower, I'm going to open up the bullet tip. All our Stampin' Blends have a bullet tip on one end and a brush tip on the other. And I'm just going to come in. Now, it's real dark right here, but as it dries, it lightens up. like so. I'm also then also going to color and I'm going to use both blends for the green. I'm just going to take up my, this again is the soft succulents. I'm going to use a little of the dark on those lines, the veins for the leaves. And then I'm going to blend it out or um, spread it using the light. And so I'm going to start into that darker area and I'm going to come up just enough into this area. So I'll come up like so. I just love to color. Now you may not be one to wanting to color, and you know what? You could have stamped 
in the ever, evening evergreen and then not bother to color it in. Just leave it as an open image with some color. You would not have to color in the little insets of the flower. You could just use the stamped and punched image. But I liked how this looked. And then to punch this part out again, I'm going to put it in and I pull from the back side. So this is my tip. You're going to pull it in here. And the reason you need to have a longer piece is because you're going to have leaves that punch out on the sides. So like so, I'm going to set my punch out of the way, all these extra pieces, keep them from another project. So then I've got those pieces here. So to assemble, I'm going to go ahead and use my, again, my stamp and seal. the back side, line it up on my layer. I have just a slight layer to show just a hint of some of this soft succulent. I love these two colors together. Then I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals and put them on the back. I just need one right in the center of all of these flowers. Makes for a really pretty quick card. I had made this card as a swap. And so it goes together super quick. You can get quite a few done. So I'm going to line up here. I'm going to come in now like so here. And I'm going to come over here. And it's okay if it kind of covers up some of your leaves. So like so. And then I want to make sure I'm going to use my take your pick tool. I'm going to push off just three of my little gold centers. Once they're on this polished pink paper, they almost look yellow, which is why I chose them. That and the fact that you get a lot of one color on a sheet. And so pull in the center here. Okay, so that part is all ready. I need to attach my paper on the front. So again, I'm going to put some adhesive, line it all the way up at the bottom. Now I'm only going to use 10 inches of this open weave ribbon. And so in order to get that, it's what I call a FOBO, our new Stampin' Mist bottle is a perfect size. I'm going to oh, wrap it around, come to the center here. I'm going to tie this just in a knot. I'm not going to tie it in a bow. If you're not a bow person, this is a great way. It's also a great way to not use up a lot of ribbon. So you can get a lot of, of these wraps in just a short amount of ribbon. Slide it off. Depending on what end you want it to be, I'm not centering it. If I was centering it, I would snip it in the back. I'm going to come over to this side because I want my bow to come more to the one side. So I'm going to snip it with my paper snips like so, and it opens up. Then all I need to do is come put a little bit of adhesive on the back. I'm going to line up that ribbon on this end come around and I'm going to grab it on this end and you'll see it sticks to where I put that adhesive on the back side. So then I'm just going to put this down flat. I could pop it up with some Stampin' Dimensionals if I wanted, but I don't want it any thicker than it already is. So I'm going to line it up here like so. I'm going to put this down flat as well, because again, I don't want it any thicker than it needs to be. So I'm going to line this piece up, centering it, having an equal amount of space here and here, and as close as I can get it on the sides, like so. I'm going to snip my ribbon right and left. And then I want to put some dimensionals on the back of my greeting. 
like so. I'm going to line it up at the lower left, like so. And then finally, I can stick my piece on the inside so I have something to write on. The dark green would be a little hard to see. So line it up like so. And just like that, I have a fairly quick, simple thank you card. Thank you so much for joining me. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. Um, you can order anytime at justalittleink.stampinup.net. I send thank you notes to everyone who orders through me, no matter the size of the order. Um, you can use this host code. That'll be good through the 28th of May. Um, and if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would so appreciate if you would do that and make sure to click on that bell so you receive notifications anytime a new video is posted. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.